this is a hot mess, so let's just dive right into it. I just got home and thought it'd be fun if I do a what's in my bag video. These are some of my favorite videos to watch. It's curious to see what people keep in their bag. I also want to do this before I took stuff out of my bag. Not wearing makeup because like I said I just got home. But let's start with the bag itself. This is my very first Kate Spade bag that I got as a Christmas gift from Eric. I think it's the small Rochelle, which they do not make anymore, but I got it many years ago. It has a nice pink interior that is stained from the leather of wallets. First is my phone, which has a really gross case because they don't make cases for this. I will warn you now, this thing is probably 90% receipts. We have a receipt from Taco Bell. We have a receipt from Alta for some dry shampoo, which I have right here. My dry shampoo of choice is Detox by Dry Bar. We have a Sephora survey, which I need to do. We have a Duncan straw wrapper. I also seem to collect garbage. We have a napkin. <laughs> I have I have to wear prescription sunglasses and this is like a Veer Bradley case I got at the outlet for eight dollars and my sunglasses and then a cleaning cloth we have garbage a pen from Chase a um, business card for our car dealer a business car for the place we rent a U-Haul from. A Kroger receipt for K-Cups salmon and clearance Pillsbury cookie dough. Our receipts from Aldi. It's a bunch of stuff I'm not going to read. It's mostly produce. And then we have a Halls wrapper. Another chase pen, a gum wrapper, multiple lipsticks, and there's a reasoning behind this. Diva by MAC, Weirdo by Jeffree Star, Diamond by Jeffree Star, and Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. I was measuring drawers for lipsticks, so I had to take a bunch of different sizes. This I was wearing earlier. Wet Ones hand wipe that is open because I used it earlier today. A coupon for the meatless products that I eat. A Meyer receipt. A Sam's Club receipt. I told you it's a lot of receipts. A Target receipt. Wondered when I was going to come across one of those. Another Target receipt my wallet. I got this this year for the holiday. It's Kate Spade. It has a spot for cards. This you can't get anything out of so I don't use it. And then I have change in here. Kroger coupons. I rarely shop at Kroger but they send me coupons. An empty Walmart gift card because I returned or exchanged something but they have to do it as a return another uh, coupon for the fake meat a coupon for flat out wraps gum wrappers gum wrappers straw wrapper a Walmart receipt a Whole Foods receipt and I have this Kate Spade Thing that matches the wallet. I also have a pink one, but uh, I wanted them to match. This has my inhaler. It's Pro Air brand. Yes. Some wet ones. I honestly use these more to wipe off makeup swatches than I do to sterilize my hands. And a mini CeraVe moisturizing cream. 
Wow, the big part is empty. Now we just have the little pockets, which is stuffed full of receipts. The garbage. This is a Trader Joe's receipt. A local pizza place receipt. Another McDonald's receipt. Another coupon from that pizza place. Some decongestant. My keys with a cute Yummy World keychain. I love Yummy World. I don't know if you've ever seen like the stuff in the background. It was more visible on my other videos, older videos. More lipstick, Clinique, Tenderheart. This is so old. Like they don't um, even make bolas that look like this anymore. But this is one of my favorite lipstick colors and they discontinued it for a while. I think it's back now. And then, um, Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin. Then we have my library card, a Blick Art Rewards card, my debit card, which I don't know why that's not in my wallet. I have this habit of once I use it, it's hard to just put it back in and I try to like rush to let someone behind me go. So I just shove it in my purse and not back in the wallet. Some Trident Cinnamon credit card which same reason don't put it back three more gum wrappers um the sh fresh sugar rose um, lip balm which i'm super proud of this it's almost empty i'm always proud when i can finish a lip balm and not lose it and then Another one of my most used lipsticks is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil, and I don't know how to say it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it right there. That top word is the name of it. So that is everything that's in my bag. Having my hands that close reminded me that we have my nails of the week. This makes me really mad. I thought I had it on my desk and I don't and I'm not going to get up to go get it. I used OPI cannoli use OPI which is this pretty like whitish gray. It's gorgeous. However when OPI did their Italian collection their creams were garbage. This is two coats and it is completely streaky. I don't know if you can see yeah you can it's chipped on the ends and I paint the ends to prevent chipping it took three hours for two coats to dry and it wasn't even dry because look I messed this nail up I did accent nails with it was a so OPI by Sephora, no Sephora by OPI, which was a brand that I really loved and it was actually my first high-end nail polish and the first thing I ever bought at a Sephora. So that's pretty cool. So if you ever see um, cannoli, cannoli use OPI or um, there's another one, some gelato something, gorgeous color, it's like mint. like mint but lighter creamier don't get them they are garbage that's all i got for you thought that was fun i'm off to film another video which will be a little more exciting at least i think it will be more exciting so i hope you enjoyed this video do you guys have a receipt problem do you just keep i have a whole drawer of receipts when i empty this i just shove it in a drawer and it's overflowing I need to clean that too. Or do you keep gum wrappers or straw wrappers? What's a weird thing you keep in your bag or your wallet or whatever? Let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.